Hi, I'm Dr. Stewart. I'm here to talk to you about the Talented Writers Program. It's a program that's been going for four years. This is year four, and it's a three-year deal. So students start as sophomores, and it's a progression. We do poetry, we do fiction, we do creative nonfiction. We don't do playwriting, at least not yet. And so students come in, we're looking for kids who are really passionate about writing. So rather than a kind of creative writing semester course that schools might have, we have a real program. And the people we've brought in to talk to students are always incredibly impressed. They say, I can't believe you've got a full program with this. This is three years of, of real dedication. And so we start with poetry the first semester, and then we go to either fiction or creative nonfiction, and then we work throughout the, the uh, three years. They'll do two semesters of each of those genres. And like I said, we're looking for people who really might be doing it on their own. They just don't have an outlet for it. And what I want from a student is a desire to grow and a desire to help others grow. So the course is, work, is run on a workshop. So we have a big table and everybody's around it. We get each other's stuff. So they'll have done, say, a poem for that time. And I usually give them a week to do all the annotations. And we go around the room. You get feedback from every person, written and verbal, and from me. And the goal is for them to just get better. We don't expect people to be writing at Pulitzer Prize levels their first year. But we have found one thing they have to do is they have to submit to different journals for publication. They have to do various things outside of the class. And we've had students get published. Uh, some of the first students, they start sophomores, they work through it. Last year we had two seniors publish in national journals. So this is definitely possible. They do all the genres because each one will affect you in different ways. So if somebody's primarily a poet, when they do the fiction, they'll improve narrative in the poems. If they're a fiction writer, and we've got a number of those, they'll do setting better from doing all the imagery in the poetry. So it's really a progression. They've, they, they can learn about their own writing through other people's too. Like, oh, I really like that image. I'm going to practice doing that. A lot of what we do is technique. So I'm expecting them to write outside of class and to see it. They don't have an exam, they have a portfolio. So at the end of the semester, they show me what they've written. They show me what they've written in the class, the assignments, revisions, and then what they've done outside the class. And so what I tell them is I'm expecting them to do some writing. I've had fiction writers who write you know, 10 pages of, of prose outside of everything else they're doing. I've got one boy working on a novel, another one working on a long uh, fiction piece. So that's what we're looking for with that. Now, one thing with the process, uh, as they get very interested in college, is a lot of people don't realize colleges have creative writing programs uh, that you might not expect. So, for instance, Georgia Tech's got a really good creative writing program. Northwestern, MIT does a lot of poetry. And what people don't realize, they think of STEM as being one thing and then creative writing as being another. But what I tell students is if you're applying to a school such as Georgia Tech, and you understand everybody who applies there does STEM. They all have good grades, but when those people look at someone who's been doing creative writing, they think, well, okay, this is a different kind of engineer. This is somebody who's got a different kind of mindset that might be much more interesting for us to have. So there's actually the benefit with that. Just in general, you're gonna think differently if you're a writer. If you're an artist of any kind, you're gonna think differently, and that will help you know, a school really value you. Also, because it's not just a course, oh, I took creative writing spring of my junior year, it's a three-year program, and schools see dedication. They say, somebody knows what real devotion to a skill means. They know what it means to be dedicated. And I think that matters for schools. So the process to apply is students send me a uh, statement of purpose, why they want to be in the program, and they send me a writing sample, which is you know, two or three poems, a couple of pages of fiction, and I'm looking to see people who want to do it, who really want to be part of a program for three years, and that's, like I said, they may already be writing, but they want something they can take part of a community. We bring in a visiting writer or two every year, and we bring in big name people. So we've had Linda Pass and Martina Espada, people who've won the National Book Award, Mark Doty, last fall. This spring, we brought in a creative nonfiction writer named Julie Marie Wade. We're going to try to do two a year one person in prose, one person in poetry. And what's good is that person will talk to the school as a whole, QA, that kind of thing, but then comes specifically to TWP. 
and we've got 25 students right now, which is kind of big. And in the future, we're hoping to grow it, so maybe we'll get more than one section. But this year with 25, what I do is called blended learning. So I have the year ones in uh, Monday and Wednesday, say. And then the year twos and threes would be Thursday, you know, Tuesday and Thursday and alternate. If they're not in the room, I give them a, a task. It might be to take two poems on the same subject by two authors and to tell me how are they similar? How are they different? If they respond a certain way to uh, this author versus that author, why is that? So I tell the kids, they're not going to read like scholars the way they would in a lit class. They're going to read like writers, which is a different kind of reading. And it'll also help the analytical stuff too, but it's a different kind of analysis. So all the applications, if someone's interested, have to be to me by the end of March. And I'll be glad to email any paperwork somebody needs. And I'd love to, love to grow this program. So we're looking for excited people and uh, take part, grow themselves, grow other people, just have fun.